All right, so here we got a four moms uh, mama Ru bassinet and sometimes it makes a squeaking noise and it doesn't make it all the time like it's on right now it's not making any noise um, but it make a squeaking noise like in the middle of the night and it's super annoying so I uh, need to go ahead and find out what's wrong with it all right so the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put this thing up on your bed upside down and you're gonna take the legs off you take them off by just uh, pushing in on that little button and then pulling each out each one out one by one all right, the next step in disassembly is we got to take all these little screws out. So if, if you look in here, you can see there's little Phillips head screws and a bunch of these. Not all of them. Some of them are just blank. But there's probably at least 10. One, two, three, four. And then on the sides and on the back. So they're little Phillips head, and we're going to have to take those out before we get before we go any further. I right, one little note. When you take those little screws out of the base, um, I, I didn't find a good way to take them out unless you have a little tiny magnet, but I didn't have a little magnet I only had one that was this big So I just flipped it over on my floor and just kind of like watched where the screws went <laughs> That was the best thing I could do and I didn't lose any so that's fine All right now that it's up on your bed uh, What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, uh, take the Mattress out I guess you would call it and you get to this surface right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off those eight screws right there, four on each side. Don't take off the other ones. You don't need to do that yet. All right, if you lift up on this piece here, you can see that's the noise right there. There's some little screws right there, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten them. There's four of them. One, two, three, and four. All right, so I tightened up on the screws, but it didn't seem to help the noise at all. So I went ahead and took that shield completely off. And then I put the screw back in the hole and I noticed that the screw is actually not designed properly. It doesn't have enough threads to clamp down perfectly on that uh, piece. So you're going to need a three millimeter Allen head screw, hex head, to get those things in and out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to space these pieces out, see if I can find some little nuts or something to space it out so the screws will tighten up nicely on that shield. And while I have the piece off, I'm going to take this time to go ahead and lubricate some of the some of the pieces here that are moving. You can see as this thing moves, let's turn it on real quick. You can see here there's a lot of moving parts, just moving parts underneath. There's this scissor jack kind of setup and there's some gears. It looks like some of the parts have grease on them. Um, some of them don't. They just rely on the plastic itself to be the self-lubricating feature. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some WD-40, just a little bit on all the moving parts that I can find. You know, you don't put too much or else the room's gonna smell like WD-40, which I like, but my wife might not like so much. And um, just a little bit to help it out. All right, so I went ahead and shot some WD-40 on all the moving parts I could find. Um, the wheels, the, like, the little scissor areas right there. Uh, also underneath that little, that little uh, gear, I don't know what you call that thing, the crankshaft area. Um, you can see it's not making any noise now, so that's good. Um, but also one thing here, I found that it has these uh, little tabs here that stick up. And there's there's a bunch of them all over. One, two, there's a bunch more. And it looks like that's supposed to be like a bushing feature, like a bearing area. If you look on the underside of that shield. This is the way it came. You see the red grease here kind of corresponds to those little tabs. And it's supposed to be, I think those are supposed to slide on those little tabs. And I really don't like that idea, but I don't know, that's just the way it was designed. All right, so I know it seems absolutely ridiculous, but I'm gonna have to modify the design to make it something that I like. So what I did is I went ahead and super glued some little tiny nuts onto the ends of those little posts. So it's gonna space this little shield up a little bit. You can see I did those two, and I'm gonna do those two right now. So again, these nuts are not actually to be nuts, they're just to act as spacers. So what I did is I've got the original screw right here on a magnet, and I'm just gonna show you that the, the screw actually goes through the nut. It doesn't actually engage in the nut. All right, one thing that I forgot to mention was I actually popped these little, these little grommets, these black rubber grommets out of that baffle piece before I uh, super glued those nuts on. And I'm gonna put them back. I'm just gonna put them on the screws before I install the screws back into the baffle. All right, so I've got that shield piece put back on, and you can see here, I just wanna show you, I've got the, you can see those nuts that I super glued there? Those are my spacer nuts. So they're spacing out the shield piece from this, this lower mechanism. I'm gonna turn it on, and you'll see that it's gonna work. So 
So it's still working. Um, everything's just sitting up nice and a little bit higher now. Yeah, one more little note. Definitely don't go too tight when you're tightening up those screws because you definitely don't want to strip that out. I mean, if you do it, it's fine. It's plastic. You can just super glue it again, so it's no big deal. But I didn't go too tight. All right, now we're going to test it out, see if it made that same noise that it did when we first were trying it. So here I've got my finger. I'm going to pull it up on it. You can see here, it doesn't. it's not making the same annoying sound that it was in the beginning. It's just making it normal. This is kind of a normal sound. So I think I solved the problem like this. All right, now put the cover piece back on. Um, you can see here that what we did was we, we tightened up that gap between that shield piece and this cover piece that goes all around. But it doesn't matter. As long as there's space, you're fine. Uh, you're not pressing down on that shield at all anyways. Uh, it's just to keep your hands out or keep the dust, I guess, out too. Um, but you can see here, I'm gonna touch on the shield piece. Shouldn't make any noise. I guess if you touch hard enough, it will, but we're not gonna do that. All right, to get this guy back together, um, so you don't have to get, so I'm not gonna get uh, oil on my bed sheet, because I guarantee you're probably doing this in your bedroom, because this bassinet's probably in your bedroom if you're a normal person. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bassinet back onto this lower mechanism first, and then I'm gonna flip it upside down and put the cover piece back onto the base. All right, for this step, to get the bassinet back onto the base, you only need to, to put the eight screws back in, one, two, three, four on this side, and four on this side. You don't need to do the outer screws. Those ones are not needed for this step. All right, one other step too. I recommend uh, hand tightening all these little screws first, because they are plastic, and they've already been screwed in, so they're gonna find their home pretty easily. But just put them in with your hand first before you put a screwdriver on them, that way you know they're going, they're going in the right threads. All right, so put this cover piece back on. We're gonna turn this thing upside down and then we're going to, with our hands, kind of pull it back up and then we're gonna drop each screw in. I don't know, and kind of do it one by one. All right, once you got those guys all tightened up, last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the legs back on. All right, this is it all put together. So hopefully when you're done, you have a crying baby, but no squeaky bassinet. All right, so it's been two full days now since I fixed my bassinet and the baby slept in it two nights and lots of naps and it doesn't squeak anymore, so it definitely solved my problem. Uh, it's probably not gonna solve every single squeaking issue with uh, your bassinet, but definitely solved the issue that's going on with mine, so hopefully this helps somebody.